Alright, so the other day I told a user who was trying to use Ubuntu 18.04 how to install a PPA and uh, install OpenJDK 7. Well, it turns out I owe that user an apology because that does not work any longer. Um, I just tried it out and I'm not sure why it doesn't work any longer, but it used to work. Um, if we look at the instructions that you can find, if you just do a web search, open JDK 7 on Ubuntu 18.04, one of the first ones that pops up is uh, how do I install on 16.04 and newer. And it uh, lists the same instructions that I gave this user about how to install the PPA and how to then just install whichever version of OpenJDK that you want. However, uh, as you can read in the comments of this um, list right here, is that it does not work any longer for 16.10, 17.04, and consequently 18.04 either. So that is a little bit unusual, and I'm not sure why that is, but it doesn't work. So I started looking through the different other ways to install OpenJDK 7, and there's quite a few of them. Um, we're going to uh, give this one a try right here for manual installation. So what I'm doing is I'm just opening these four tabs right here. And of course we don't need these last two because we're on uh, seven, we're on 18.04 which is newer than this and these only need these older ones as desired. But what's interesting uh, as we download these we scroll down to the bottom we have an AMD 64 machine just click on that and it tells us we should use aptitude which is normal but we're going to click on the link here and we're going to save that file and we'll do the same for all of these here and while it's downloading I'd like to talk a little bit more about it save that file as well and we'll open this one and we're gonna save this file as well and finally this one and we'll open that up as well also now while those are downloading because that's going to take just a minute here and I'll probably have to pause the video and come back to it. But something to keep in mind is when I made all of these videos, I made everything from Lollipop to Marshmallow to Nugget to Oreo to Pi all on Ubuntu 14.04. And that is what the AOSP guide says to use is Ubuntu 14.04. And I know a lot of you are saying, well, that's really old. Why would you use something so old? Because it works really well. Uh, the instructions are written exactly for using Ubuntu 14.04 and all of my video tutorials, that's what I used. Now if you're going to be building a newer version of Android from Nugget, Oreo, or Pi and onwards, using 18.04 is actually no big deal. You can just install OpenJDK 8 uh, naturally from the repository that's built in to uh, Ubuntu 18.04. However, if you want to build something a little older like Lollipop and Marshmallow, you need to have OpenJDK 7. And to do that, we have to download these files and install them somehow. So we're going to follow this manual installation right here and see how well that works. Uh, just for the record, I did try installing the PPA. That did not work. Uh, I also tried um, using a couple other methods as well like the easy way the easy way was not so easy because it didn't work in the end uh, and uh, I think I tried I think it was this one right here which also did not work so we're going to try now this uh, manual installation and see how well that works out for us. So I'm going to pause the video while we download this because as you can see this has got quite a bit of time left to go before it's done. 
Uh, I have a much slower internet connection than hopefully you have there, and hopefully you can download these a lot faster. All right, so that's almost done. While we're waiting, one of the things that we can do is prove that the uh, only thing we have installed is uh, the or that we don't have access to install OpenJDK 7 rather. So sudo update alternatives config java and super secret squirrel password here and the only alternative is OpenJDK 8 right and the same for Java C only alternative is OpenJDK 8 and then if we look um, aptitude search open JDK and the only things that we can see is open JDK 8 and open JDK 11 so open JDK 7 is not installed which is good for the purpose of our testing to make sure that this actually does work so um, minute left to go on that we'll kinda waltz over the instructions here of what we're gonna do once you download the material that you need, we're going to use dpackage-i, which is to install. And we're going to install those ones that we um, downloaded here. And when we do that, um, it's going to install those packages. And then it's going to give us an error. And when we get that error, we're going to run apt install f to try to fix the problem. So install dash f as in fix or force, force it to install everything that it needs to do. And then hopefully, if there's no other errors, then we can just go ahead and update our alternatives to use that new OpenJDK 7. So let's take a look and see how we're doing here. Where's my install? Another 45 seconds or so to go. While we're waiting for that, we'll change directory cd into downloads. Give that another few seconds. Almost done here. So definitely not the uh, the easy, just uh, you know, one-stop shop install like you would normally expect. Uh, trying to run something older on something newer just it doesn't work very well in this case uh, which is kind of uh, unfortunate but uh, you know hopefully we can work around it almost there all right Good, so if we take a look, we see that we've got this here. And uh, so we can sudo dpackage-install and uh, open JDK. And you can actually just do a star for any any of them, really, like open JDK 7 and lib uh, anything. Actually, really, in this case, since these are the only ones here, you can just do all deep anything dot d package deb. Locked by another process. There we go. Tried it again, and this time it worked. So it's going to give us those errors, right? Errors encountered while processing. We're going to sudo apt. In, oops, apt install dash f to try to fix any of those errors. It's like, hey, you need to download this stuff. You say, yes, I want to download that stuff. And then it's going to go through and download the things that it needs. And now it's going to set up OpenJDK 7. All right, and then we see in our instructions we can go back to our update alternatives. And so if we do the first one here, we see now we have OpenJDK 8 and 7. So we can choose number 1 for 7 and then we can do the Java C and also we see we have 8 and 7 and we can choose number 1 for 7. So now you can do uh, Java dash version 
and you see that we're now using 7 instead of 8. And so this is the, uh, the only method that I've been able to make work to install OpenJDK 7 on Ubuntu 18.04. So hopefully this will help you out. I'm going to uh, try to copy the link to this page in the description and I'm also going to copy the instructions and put them in the description in case the uh, in case this link somehow goes away or doesn't work any longer. So hopefully that will be helpful to you guys as well. So be sure to check that out if you uh, need to build uh, Lollipop or Nugget or excuse me, Lollipop or Marshmallow from Ubuntu 1804 or newer. Um, again, I really recommend using 1404 if you're going to be building the older stuff especially. Uh, all the instructions are written for it and it does work really, really well. But um, to each their own, there are a lot of reasons not to use 1404, like maybe your hardware is not supported on that machine uh, that you're using, using 1404, but a good alternative is to install whatever operating system you want and then to use VirtualBox to run your 1404 distribution. Um, something to consider as well, but it does take up a little more resources. So if you're going to do a clean install on a machine and it's a newer machine and 1404 doesn't cut it, then you can use 1804, which is going to have the drivers you need. And as we just saw, now we can install OpenJDK 7 and actually make it work. So uh, hopefully this was informative and useful for you guys, and uh, hopefully it helps get you through uh, what you need to do.